I gotta record this as well. Hey everyone, this is Jay here on the Ono Coffee channel. We're doing this this live stream. It's kind of an impromptu live stream um, because I just received the Movo location sound bundle that I ordered on uh, on Amazon for 215 bucks. It came in today and I wanted to unbox it and show you what comes in the kit. It's it's a little bit different than what we normally do here with coffee and cigars because I do have a really, uh, I have a penchant for a lot of the electronics and technology side of things. And so I thought that I'd share this just on this little impromptu kind of session today. If you have any questions as we go along, drop them in the comments below. We're going to be going over the Movo BWS 1000 blimp system and housing for uh, microphones as well as um, it comes with a 8.2 foot telescoping boom pole made of carbon fiber and so I went down to my post office I got the notice that that I had received this box and I was like oh you know I talked to my the guys at the post office said you know it's probably not in my P.O. box and it's not in one of the lockers because I'm expecting it to be a pretty large box and it turns out that it was pretty large so here it is oh, oh dear here we are this big old box I mean, it's almost, it says almost, it's pretty tall. Look at this thing. It's pretty crazy. So we're going to, they, they actually had to, to tape two boxes together, right? So look at that. Now, of course, it's going to be long because there is a, there's a boom pole in here, right? And the boom pole, once it's collapsed, has to fit somehow. And that's what we're doing. So let's cut into it. I'm just wondering if I can get through the top and not have to pull the two box halves apart. If the sound is a little bit strange today, I'm using, I'm not using the normal RE20 microphone that I normally use here. Oh, I'm, I'm out of the frame. I actually use, uh, today I'm using a Rode, what was it, Rode Go, the first generation Rode Go. And it's, so it's, it's, it's interesting. I'm plugging that directly into the Rodecaster Pro. And, oh, yeah, we can totally get to it. So we've got our, oh, my gosh, that's heavy. Holy smokes. So here's this long, I don't know what this is. What is this? It says here, what? Movo Photo MV T100 39 Heavy Duty Professional Camera Track Slider for video. MV T100. What in the what is that? Okay, that's... Okay, that's a problem. That's not exactly what I ordered. Okay, but here's the blimp. So this looks like... And that's it. Huh. Exciting and a bit disappointing. Hold on, there's a paper at the bottom. Sorry about the sound. Come on, baby. My goodness. All right, we have this invoice. Let's see what the invoice says. Movie, Movo, Location, Sound Production, Sound Bundle, Shock. Yeah, this thing, it's pretty darn heavy. So there's metal. So if this is a carbon fiber boom pole and you had to hold it, you'd be pretty upset. <laughs> That's not fun. All right, so I'm going to have to go back, get in contact with Movo and be like, hey, you guys sent me the wrong thing. All right, we're going to get in touch with them in a moment. But let's get into the microphone or the boom, uh, the blimp. So here we are, the blimp, Movo. I, I was really interested to... After I bought the VXR10, which is this little tiny microphone, which actually works really great. So if, you, if, you, if you're looking for an on-camera little microphone, I think these are great. About 40, 50 bucks, and the sound quality is quite nice. The build quality has been great. It comes with a little dead cat kind of thing, which when it really blows... It, it does, it does good for like light wind, but if it starts to blow a little bit heavier, this gets overwhelmed rather quickly. However, you know, it's, it's very similar to the Rode Video Micro. And 
Yeah, I think the sound is great. Actually, my my niece for her channel, she just recently got the video micro, so I'm I'm thinking maybe I'll do a little head-to-head -head testing with her microphone and versus this one, just to see for myself. Overall, I've kind of found that the the Rode microphones, just in a general basis, like with the Rode Video Micro and some of the others, for for the price you're paying, I don't really, I really haven't been enamored with the sound itself. So, but your mileage may vary. You know, it's something to check out. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, on the, it's nicely nice box printed. And like I said, I came across this on the Movo site after I was registering, while I was registering the VXR10. At the time, they were out of stock on this, but the price point just for this alone is $99. And $99, I thought for a blimp, was really, really fantastic. I mean, if you're talking the right coat, like the professional stuff that, that most people use, like like, by the guy, like Alan from Sound Speeds, He's going to be using something like the right coat, much better quality, very rugged, very durable, really designed for professional production. Me personally, we're just making YouTube videos. Most of them are static in-house, so there's very little need for me to have uh, uh, the kind of gear that, that other professionals use. All right, so... Like, for example, in one of the videos that Alan at SoundSpeeds did about, like, a $65 boom pole where he was talking about how the way that it, the way the locking mechanisms came apart and the way it slid, as well as the way it, if he moved it around, there were some kind of noises on the pole itself. In my case, I'm not too worried about something like that, really. It's more, I'm going to be setting it up on a boom stand and pretty much stationary for essentially talking head kind of work. So... In that, in this particular case, in my particular case, that's not such a big deal. So if you're happy to be watching, thank you very much. Really appreciate you. I just kind of jumped on here as a, I don't know, I just jumped on because I got this and I was kind of excited. I thought you might be interested. And, um, whoa. So I pulled the open. There's a little cutout here so that you can feed the blimp. Silica gel. Oh, and there it is. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I literally just got back here to the to my to my space, and I, I just turned on the lights and just turned the camera on and started rolling. I didn't. So, as you, if you're used to watching our Thursday night stream, it's not quite as nice, but it is the same space. So, all right. So here it is. Let's pull it out. It kind of has this Batman. Spider-Man kind of look, right? Look at the this kind of ribbing. So what it is, it's got this uh, ribbing, injection molded plastic ribbing, it feels like, with like a, how would I describe this? Like a pantyhose, a black pantyhose kind of fabric that, that lines the interior. So actually it's kind of, I think it's kind of attractive, you know? And then there is this rail system here with the handle, and you just kind of loosen the handle. And so as you can, if you, actually you feel it, it's actually um, geared so that, you know, there's like ribs, gears. So when you twist this, which is, a, this is a metal piece here, which is nice. The handle hinges are metal, that's quite nice. The, it's like a rubberized, like almost like a bicycle, BMX type of a handle. XLR cable runs through the handle, which and then out the side here. So if you wanted, when you screw this into your boom pole, it won't necessarily interfere. Feels comfortable. Feels relatively lightweight. That's nice. And so let's open it up and see what happens. You can, I believe it was the twist here. Yep, twist there. We don't have to twist that. If we, I think if we loosen this and loosen this, the blimp will slide. I'm not going to force it because how unfortunate it would be if I destroyed it the first day that I got it. Okay, so it's a little bit friction, as you can see, but, you know, nice. I, I don't really, I never really worked much with right coats, so I don't really have any um, anything to compare it to. But as you can see, there are three oh, metal rings, they're, they're metal, with the plastic suspension. And uh, three suspension rings, which is great because it gives you a lot more um, 
suspension for your microphone. Let me grab the microphone. Let's get the microphone. All right, so the main microphone that I use is this old Audio-Technica AT, AT4073 Alpha. I don't know if you can see that on the... There it is. It's a, it's a nice shotgun microphone. Good quality. Nice sound. And so we're going to affix that in here. So as you can see, there's a XLR here. Oh, good Lord. Don't want to break that either. And we can just simply bring the mic in. And oh, there's these these type of like hot shoe connections here. So you can, uh, they're actually at the full extension, I believe. Yeah, more or less, that's the full extension. So I won't really mess around with that. How else can we adjust this? Let's see. Oh, so this, this adjuster slides the handle along. Good. All right, so we're going to put this microphone in and just uh, clamp it, click it into place. So the, the clicks are nice and, oh, they makes me kind of worry that if, if they were cheap, you might snap them, and I don't want to snap them. But there we are. That, that goes in. We'll take the XLR, plug that in. All right, and there's a little tab here so you can run the, the XLR cable out. And that's pretty much it. So that's kind of what you would do. Although I think maybe we might normally put it back further. Let me just make some adjustments here so that maybe it'll be nicer. Okay, there we are. That, that might be a little bit better balanced. And then we just slide it back in. If you have any questions about the, the Movo, this uh, blimp, just drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to try to answer them as best as I can. Or um, if you have any things you'd like me to try, we'll certainly try that. Okay, so you just twist these back down these to lock them in place. And then this cap goes back on, that twist locks. So pretty straightforward and simple. And now the microphone is in the is in the blimp. So let me just add in another microphone. I mean, I'll plug this microphone in to the board, and then we can get an idea for what it sounds like. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to turn this mic off and then turn the other one on. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe, oh, and I think I need, to, I need to change the channel. I'll plug into the other one. I think the other ones have Phantom turned on. Then no, my main channel for the RE20 does not have Phantom turned on. Okay, let's see, let's see. Gosh, sorry about that. All right, so that's got a good sensitivity. All right, so now we're listening to the AT4073 Alpha microphone without any real control over the sound, oh, not that one. Let's see if I can, oh, here we go, I'll do this. Maybe we'll just do some, add a noise gate to it. All right, that's weird. I don't like that. Turn that off. And it doesn't want to turn off, come on. All right, so this is pretty much the, how the mobile, the mobile, <sighs> All right, so there's some side wind. What you're hearing, this that, that fan you're hearing is actually the air conditioner running. So the microphone's pretty sensitive. And yeah, the 48, 4073 Audio-Technica in the Movo blimp. But um, let's see what else is in the, let's see what else is in the, Let's see what else is in the box. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's pretty much it. So we've got a, a bag, a storage bag, which is nice. You know, I think that's great to have a storage bag. 
or maybe a duffel bag for your clothes. And then the dead cat with zipper. That's the nice thing about this one. This one has a zipper. So you basically will should turn that down. This this microphone is really, really. I mean, I, I have to. I did did I did not adjust the. I did not. I'm switching back to the Go. I'll leave the other one running a little bit. I did not adjust the microphone setting, so it's actually quite. Why is it? Oh, that's weird. Why is it bulging like that? Am I going the wrong way? I thought it's all one way. Okay, so that looks better. All right, good, good, good. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, so, oh, I guess I can do that too, yeah, yeah. It's tight, it's tight, it's tight. So that's good, it's tight, it doesn't, it means it won't flop around if you're actually in the wind. Okay, so there's the dead cat on, here's the, Here's the dead cat on, on the, the, the blimp. Oh, it looks pretty professional, right? So if you're, run, if, you, if you're running around town, you look all pro, right? Right, look at that, like in the big headphones, bushy, bushy microphone. Who's not gonna think you're professional? So there it is, let me just, I need to brush it. All right, so this is the the Movo. Uh, it's it sounds. I mean, I, well, I, what's the? I'm kind of. I'm I'm not recording this remotely, so I'm kind of stuck. So I can't really take it outside and show you like in the wind. And plus, today's a pretty hot day and not very windy. So yeah, you know. Okay, so let's see here. What is there? What else did I show you? It comes with some stickers, Movo stickers, a little card. Happy, not happy. I think I'm happy, although they didn't send the boom pole. They sent a, a video slider, which is cool. Maybe they'll let me keep the video slider. Oh, and also, I dropped it. Hold on one moment. Comes with It comes with some more suspension pieces. That's nice. And uh, instruction book, which I probably should have looked at, and I didn't. So it just talks about, you know, how to set it up and... Yeah, good. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so this is it, the Movo BWS 1000 um, blimp for your, mic for your shotgun microphones so that you can be pretty professional. You know, and you can fly it over. It's it's really, you know, these things are designed to be placed on boom poles, so you can kind of, you know, fly it above the talent, and then you can talk, and they they can talk, and you can record what they're saying, or down below, so people can't oh, see. It. So it's down below, out of the frame. You can talk like this as well, and hey, it sounds kind of natural. I don't know if I like the way that it sounds though. The microphone. I haven't used this microphone in quite a while, but. Anyway, let's do some signal processing with it and uh, and that kind of thing. So, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it for today. I don't really have anything else to say. I just wanted to give you a little unboxing of this blimp. It looks pretty cool. It's, it's at a great price point. Like, for example, as I said, down in the description, it says, it gives you a link to an Amazon uh, page where, the, where Movo has their store, and it has their the bundle, which is this blimp all of its accessories and an 8.2 foot carbon fiber boom pole for 215 bucks. I mean, it's really, it seems like a really great deal. Like just this by itself at a hundred dollars normal price, I think is a great deal. And it's surprisingly nice quality. You know, the, the grip here is really you know, rubberized and comfortable. It doesn't have the same kind of, I think the right coats have a, um, a contoured, grip like for your fingers and all that this one is more like a bmx bicycle handle from the 80s like a bmx bicycle i keep forgetting which i'm going a bmx bicycle handle from the 80s 
right? So it, it's it's pretty it's pretty simple, but so far, I mean, it, it feels relatively comfortable. Um, the components that you're attaching to and the screw points are all metal, so that's nice. There's a little bit, you can hear a little bit of my handling noise. Everyone might have to take that. There's a little bit of wobbly, so I think there's a little bit right here at the joint. There's a little bit of the wobbliness. So it's not necessarily perfect. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure the right coat was is super solid in that respect. Of course, the right coat's what eight nine hundred dollars. So for a budget video guy, YouTuber, you know, documentary or independent movie maker, this is a great deal. It's and the. Let's see if there's any. I mean, there's a little bit of tapping noise that comes that's resonating through the handle, but it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like the XLR cable is super super cheap. I mean, it feels actually kind of nice. Yeah, the, there's actually a, there's actually a nice suppleness to the casing. There doesn't seem to be really any kind of untoward noise from from the joints, and yeah. I'm surprised. I'm looking forward to using this and seeing what kind of results we can get. I mean, what kind of results can you get? All right, so that's yeah, that's a little bit irritating. Maybe, let's see, where is that? Yeah, that's definitely right here at this joint. Right here. There is a little bit of play, which I imagine that if we took it apart, you could add like a paper washer or maybe a nylon washer that would give just a little more space to prevent that. I'm guessing, but... Yeah, that, 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 that might be a little bit irritating. But 99 bucks? I think you get quite a lot. And then so far, like I said with the, the VXR, VFX, VXR10, I've been rather pleased with the performance of Movo's products. So, yeah, I look forward to getting into it. All right, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for t joining me on this uh, impromptu live stream. Catch you next time. I appreciate you. All right, where's the... And, and there we go.